Well, this morning, folks in Lakeland might have been awakened by the sound of a loud blast. Well, there's actually a good reason for that. A massive power plant was a part of a controlled implosion today. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers was there and shows us why this was a necessary move. Three, two, one, fire. A power plant that was part of the Lakeland community for over four decades. It brought affordable power to the community uh, 40 years ago when it started up. I think it meant uh, not only affordable power for the citizens, but jobs for the people. We do these all over the country and it never gets old. So especially when it's when it's a success and uh, it just, uh, you could feel it in your body. This plant, which has been operational for more than four decades, now is mostly rubble behind me. As the city closes this chapter, they say it's a bittersweet moment. It actually was a surprise. It was a little more emotional than I expected it to be because it's just difficult when you think about all the people that have come to work uh, at this plant over the years and all of the, uh, what it meant to their families and to this community. It's just kind of difficult to watch that come to an end. Officials say the coal processing plant began to have difficulties staying online, and now the city will turn to a more environmentally friendly natural gas plant option being built nearby. Those plants will be in service in uh, 2024, and they will probably have additional 40-year life period serving the community, so we're moving into the future of cleaner energy. The project was a long time coming and took meticulous planning. Well, our crew's been here for about six months now, prepping it. The 260-foot structure required a large amount of explosives to take down. We drilled about 400 holes in the stack with concrete drill bits, and uh, we put about 140 pounds of dynamite in them holes to, uh, to shoot that down. As the Lakeland community closes the chapter on coal. It's difficult to see that going away, um, but it's important that we move on. Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. Starting your Saturday with a boom. And this project also raised money for charity. People who made donations to the Wounded Warrior Project got to watch an exclusive live stream of the demolition. Good stuff there.